Hello and welcome to some late model fixed at Rockingham. We are here on a Sunday morning, technically. I think. No, it's actually still Saturday night. Saturday night. <laughs> Doing some, again, fixed late model racing. I'm kind of waiting on qualifying to start. Did my game crash? What's going on here? Uh, hello? <laughs> Am I losing my mind? Did I lose internet connection? Why is this not starting? Is my game crashing? I think the game might be crashing. Oh! What's happening? <laughs> what is happening? Something weird's going on here. Everything okay, iRacing? No, not everything is okay. I guess I'll be right back. All right, let's try this again, I guess. We're loading back in. I don't know why it crashed there. I don't know if I hit record just the wrong moment or something while it was trying to load the qualifying session, but now we got to jump in there really quick. Okay, uh, every setting's still good. Got my brakes all the way back how I want them. Let's go. Do we have time? I think we should have time. Looks Get like our laps in. Not sure what that was about. Interesting start to this one. Let's hope that's the only crash we experience in this race. But we are the number one. Um, but I guess we can see already our times. Yeah, I kind of figured that. That number two is really Looks fast like in practice. Rain. If I can back up a point okay. three, though should be able to get up there. Time. Okay. Decent-ish. One and two. Uh, under drove three and four right there a little bit. One more lap. Cut a little bit, but not too much, so I can get back up to the top. Hmm, P3. I think the first lap you really want to get it done though, because I feel like I didn't have as much turn through one and two that time. But we'll we'll give it our best right here and then fully cut. Maybe I should have fully committed to that first lap. Yeah, first lap was better. Alright, that's fine though. P3, I'm just glad I got any qualifying done at all. <laughs> After uh, that's the first time iRacing's racing's crashed on me in a really long time. But uh, hopefully we aren't the reason everybody had to wait, so there's really nothing I could do about that. All right, now the uh, the eight just kind of sitting around anyway, so no one was waiting on us. We get a P3 and a 2.3 strength of field. Uh, it's going to be interesting. It's kind of loose early in the run, it feels like. If you uh, drive in too hard, but then it kind of starts tightening up. So I've got my brakes all the way back in case I need to use those. And then 10 to 1 felt better to me. And we're getting right into it. I only had about 30 seconds left over after missing the start right there. Essentially. Or missing the start of qualifying anyway. Thankfully I didn't miss the start. Um, I guess we'll do all time optimal at the start and then move on to session last lap later if we need to, because the tires are going to fall off, I imagine. Hopefully it's a clean one. I watched Nick's race here, and it was pretty boring, as he described. I think it's, uh, it's fun to drive, though, so at least even if I get kind of stuck on my own... It's kind of fun. I just, I really enjoy Rockingham. I think I could race anything on Rockingham and be somewhat entertained. <laughs> so, uh, this car may be a little underpowered for this place, but I just like driving around Rockingham. So, all's good with me. We got 30 laps. Should be a relatively quick one. That two's going to be hard to beat, though. He's 
getting into those point twos pretty easily, it looks like. He pulled that out for qualifying, and I'm not sure I have quite that pace. Who knows, maybe I'll be able to, uh, maybe be easier on the tires or something. Keep up with him. I'm glad this split into multiple splits as well, too, because the, uh, open practice before this one was something to behold. <laughs> and not in a good way. And it seems like all the all the people that were, you know, bouncing off the walls, flipping upside down, they seem to have dropped to a lower split. So hopefully we got some good drivers in here. It's like a first gear start. We'll follow Mellow Yellow up here and maybe learn something, hopefully. I guess the bottom side's where you want to be, so that's good. Maybe we can, uh... Oh my god. Six about to run into me. Maybe we can, uh... Get a good jump on him. In P2. About to go green. Stay focused. Here we go. Base car is in. Six jumped before the two somehow. That's interesting. Outside. Go low. Clear up top. You hit the brakes or what? You Jesus Christ. Man, sorry, man. Mr. Gear. Interesting. So far, so good. Got a little bit loose there. Gotta be careful. Through one and two, taking it a little easier on these opening laps. Don't want to loop it or anything. Driving in a little softer. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that though, because the guy behind's catching up a little bit. And I'll be honest, that B1.7 safety rating scaring me a little bit. It's coming up right on me. Man, he's got an extra gear. He's not there, but he's going to dive it in anyway, so I can't take my normal line out unless I want to get wrecked. I just, I know how that works. No reason he should have open season on the inside there, but I know he's just going to wreck me if I don't give it to him, so. He'll bully his way past me, and he didn't even need to. He's clearly faster right now. Like, I can come down here all day. Doesn't mean I, I'm allowed to stick it down there. He was close, but... I didn't hear a call. Whatever. Uh, something's happening in the back, because a lot of people are already gone. Maybe I, uh... Maybe I try to take it easy on the tires. Maybe that's the difference I can make, because I'm clearly not as fast as those other guys. Maybe if I turn the wheel a little less, maybe I'll have more grip by the end of this one. I don't know. I don't want to just fall off a bunch, either. I think the three is definitely being hard on his right front, the way he like pushed up out of the corner like that. So I'll use a little bit of brake. Try to keep it on the low side. See what we can do. Got a battle for the lead up there, essentially. They're about point one away from each other. We'll see how that develops. Right now it's looking like the six might have fallen off just a touch. Could be too that the number two is just racing to a pace. Probably let him get about that close and maybe he's picking up the speed a bit. We've gotten to the point in the run where it's not really loose anymore. As the six has discovered, because he destroys the wall right there, that had to at least Knocked his wheels out of alignment or something. That can't be good for it. See if he still has full speed after that. Because that was a pretty hefty hit, it looked like. B4. 
before. Ooh, we almost went up and got it again, too. I think we're going to be making our way up there now. Will the three be able to make the pass cleanly? How hard will the six defend it? I'll we'll have to keep an eye on this. Good consistency. Six is just going to plow that turn two wall every corner now. Or every corner. Every lap now. I guess. I underdrove that. I mean, really, man? Even wow. though I'm going to have a roll for the past three laps, really going to do this? Who the hell do you think you are, man? All right, Colton. I think maybe some of the people that were in the practice are uh, in here, unfortunately. Outside. Outside is clear. I mean, y'all are in the race for the both of us here, pal. Still there, inside, clear. I mean, I did exactly what we just did me on the front stretch. Nice and smooth, you're running. Thanks for, uh... I totally got you sideways like that, bro. You did. You did. I just hang on to it. <sighs> Let me shut my mouth. Yeah, so did I, pal. So, play that game, too. Well, I don't trust either of these guys, and they're right behind me. I mean, the dude's knocking down the turn two wall and decides he wants to race when he's already given up. He saves the lap. Well, I think he doesn't have the right to race, though. Well, we'll try to uh, keep some pace. I think the three's still faster than me, though. So we'll see what happens. He got past me once. I'm sure, he'll do it again. So if I can hold him off long enough for the six to run into him, I'm sure they're going to continue their slap fight. So if the six can catch him, they'll probably take each other out. Maybe I don't worry too much if the guy does pass me. Probably let the six pass him too. Inside. Clear. Okay, Colton. That's half this car. Inside. Still inside. Keep high. Looks like he'll get me. Keep high. I'll let that happen. Clear inside. V4. The lap time was at 26.2. I'm gonna get caught in the wreck now. Or just six is gonna there get the I made no car contact there, buddy. <sighs> Hope I can dodge their stupidity again. Last you know it's gonna happen again. As long as the six can catch him. Unless the six is just waiting for the last lap or something. Which would make sense, but I don't know if he'll have that restraint. Got the seven as part of this battle now. Having to check up before helped him catch up. If I could hit one and two, I would actually be good. Last lap time was at 25.7. I think the six isn't going to be able to catch him. He's kind of falling off of him now, so... Let's see if I can catch him. The six, I mean. Still don't think I have anything for the three. Good 
Great job. Good to go. Section last lap. See if we can be any faster. I think this is kind of where I belong. P4, even with the six hitting the wall. Seems like where I am on pace. I don't know how much draft is a thing. It can't be much, right? <laughs> Getting tight. It's definitely tight, like in center of the corner. Six is up to the three again. He'll probably take his opportunity now that he's caught him. He doesn't know if he can catch him again. Ticking time bomb right in front of us. That lap time was 25 point eight. This gets the apron a little bit. Doesn't really seem to affect him much though. I don't know what that two's got going on, but he knows this. He knows how to get this. Combo done. It's obviously in a whole nother league. Five left to go. Outside. Outside is clear. Ooh, that didn't stick at all. Well, I'm glad that uh, he oh, drifted please. up a little bit. I'm sorry, five. I was on the brake hard. <sighs> that lap was a 26.0. We don't have fast repairs in the series, do we? Car outside. Hey, we got Stay all kinds of nonsense going on ahead, but. Side. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear up the top. Turning down on me mid corner. All right. It's clear. So I guess he earned it. S tires are so broken, though. Something. That bottom side is uh, really just not very fast, though. In three and four. When you kind of have to hold it down there. See if the lane up is any good, but it doesn't really seem like it. White flag. One more left to go. Okay, run into me then. That was my fault. I was on the bottom. Well done, Colton. Great drive. That's a podium. There's the flag. It's Good race. Over. Sorry, Six. I I think I held my line, but I'll give it a look. Good win. Good race. Good race, there, guys. I definitely held my line, but. Hey, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'll keep my word. I'll look at it. And it just slid way the hell up. Yeah, I mean, it is what it we'll is. We'll take a look. Uh, I think I was about <laughs> fourth fast, fastest on speed, maybe. Pretty equal with I the uh, six.
I think he might have gotten me on that final corner if he didn't just turn in on me. Not sure. We'll see, though. When we check the incidents, but P3 is fine with me. The two definitely earned it. Three was faster than me, so... Their contact didn't cause any problems. Take a look at that last incident first, just because it's most relevant right now. I'm surprised I actually had a chance at him. I had a really good one and two. Just enough there where he kind of had to leave the door open. Yeah, he turned down on me. 100% he comes down. I'm not going to enter that fight. <laughs> but uh, thankfully I'm able to save it. And uh, unfortunately for the 7, he gets caught up in it, kind of. He has to avoid it, it looks like, and gets into the wall, but he still finishes 4th. Alright. Just making 100% sure. I was like 99.9% .9 sure I was not the reason, the cause of that, but I just wanted to check. We will see. What else happened? We know a lot of people had trouble. There's the 13 turning down on somebody. Oh my gosh, we had a lot of trouble. A lot of individual trouble. So we first have this guy up here. Just getting loose, it looks like. He's turning it hard out of the corner. Too much wheel, I guess it snaps on the colder tires. And the uh, 13 kind of just did what the 6 did to me. Turned down middle corner too much. I don't know what where he's going, but he hits the guy's right rear. And then, uh, got behind, and wow, we had a big mess. And then something else going on up here, too. Everybody got taken out lap two. Oh, my gosh. So, they're side by side. Exit of turn two is tough. Oh, the four kind of gets loose. And then I think they're kind of net coating. Seven's a little too far down the track, but he got loose too, I think, and they're kind of just bouncing off of each other. And then it just... Netco decided the four was headed towards the inside wall. He just uh, got a bad roll on the dice there, I think. But everybody wrecking out of two on lap two. Yikes, that was like the rest of the field. Oof. Lots of broken cars now. Just got some wall right there. It was a pretty hefty hit, though. This is the six's uh, first hit out of turn two. I'm surprised that didn't hurt him more. Like, that's a hard hit. I'm surprised his, like, steering's not all messed up. Maybe it was when he was, like, fighting through it. And then, I don't know... The six did some stuff, for sure, after hitting the wall a couple more times that the three wasn't happy about. So he hits the wall, this is like the second or third time right there. So six crosses him over, and then just comes up and hits his left rear. He looks like he's like the type to not be afraid to use his car to slow people down. Like, I think that's what he was trying to do out of the final corner. He was trying to slow me down because he thought I was going to have uh, the run to the line, and he just ended up wrecking himself. So I think he's trying to hit the left rear of the three here to do exactly this, get alongside him again. Which is, uh, you know, you can do that, obviously. That's like the short track racing, but it's not going to make you any friends. And uh, maybe not the best idea to do that on lap 11. Because this is what's going to happen next. So I have to avoid that. Kind of just went to the apron. Like, uh, hard to tell exactly where they're going to be at this point. I see the six saves it. So I kind of just go below him and then just get plenty of room as they kind of navigate through that. Ten was not getting any turn right there. Uh, Twelve just drives in way too hard. Wow. Yeah, he just... I don't think that was on purpose. Because that can happen pretty easily in turn one here at Rockingham. 
even in a low-powered car, he just enters way too low, and there's no way without major s slowing down that he's going to stick it to the bottom lane, and even though he tries, it just comes up and gets him hooked, and uh, suddenly we got flipping cars on the 10. <laughs> he gets by it. We'll get seven on entry, it looks like. And then, uh... Yeah, at, at least he didn't turn himself on my nose, because I was there, we did get the call. So he doesn't turn himself on our nose, at least. I think, like, he probably beats us, though, if he just... takes the momentum, runs the middle line, and gets the run off the corner. But, uh, instead he kind of decides to turn down on us instead. Yeah. And then, uh himself turned didn't want to do it that way and I wasn't gonna do it at all because I was not gonna succeed I don't think without him doing that but uh, he gives us p3 so I'll take it I guess and uh, still got 0x I think despite all that yeah didn't actually get any uh, incidents so interestingly enough the three didn't either I guess uh, their contacts didn't register and then of course the two ran away with it didn't have to deal with anybody so, that'll do it for this one. Um, interesting enough, uh, maybe not a great fit for this car, but I don't know, it's kind of like a, a mile and a half intermediate race at Rockingham. So, kind of interesting. I enjoy it for what it is, and uh, I hope you enjoy it as well. I appreciate you, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.